Guys, what's up? So this is a new series of basically just tips and tricks and advice for people who want to make films and videos, but this is more geared towards the beginner and novice, so if you already know what you're doing, if you already have experience making films or videos, then you might want to skip this, but if you, if you want to learn more and you don't know much about making videos, stick around. So usually when this stuff comes up, most people like to ask, what camera should I get? Well, here's the thing. While camera is important, it's not the most important thing. You don't really see people going into the theater or clicking on YouTube thinking, oh gee, I wonder uh, if this video or film was shot on this camera or on that camera, otherwise I'm not going to watch it because I don't like that camera. Uh, most people aren't really going to know and most people aren't really going to care. So you don't, like I said, you don't see people going into the theater thinking the same thing like, I'm not gonna watch this movie because it was shot on this camera or because it was shot on 35mm film. You know, you don't see people like that. Let me refer to this. My short film, uh, a future to a, a message to a future filmmaker, sorry about that, I'm stuttering, was shot on an iPhone, on my iPhone 5, with an app called Filmic Pro. If I had not mentioned that, I don't think anybody would have suspected that it was shot on an iPhone. So that's the thing, that, that's another thing I'm trying to say. You can get the best camera, but if you don't know how to use it, if you don't have the skills, you know, the, the cinematography skills or the video uh, professional skills, you're not going to take real advantage of that camera. I mean, you can give a real cheapy camera to a professional and they can probably, you know, shoot really good video with it. Content is king. So when you're making a film or video, just make sure that the quality the story is good or pretty decent you know you don't have to it doesn't have to be excellent the first time around but just make sure it's something that'll entertain people something that'll have them coming back so that's which is way more important than what camera you got because you can get the best camera ever but if you shoot a really crappy film then no camera's gonna save you from that so these video cameras or DSLRs they shoot 30 frames a second and let me explain that to you 30 frames a second is basically the equivalent of well I'm filming on that frame rate right now. It, it's more like a news broadcast quality or a soap opera quality. So make sure that you get one that also films at 24 frames a second. 24 frames a second is basically, it looks like a you know TV drama or a, an actual movie. Also make sure your camera gives you the option to switch to manual control because the thing is you don't want to be on auto the whole time. You know, you're going to have to switch to manual as well. So make sure it has uh, buttons or settings to toggle those on and off. And also make sure it has a jack to plug in a microphone in it too because you may want to plug in an external microphone later on. So yeah, just make sure it has those three. Oh, and don't get the best camera, the latest one with all the features because the thing is, there's always going to be another model that's going to be a little better, that's going to have more specs. And it's just, you know, it's just a constant race to catch up here. So, you know, just get something that'll work for you. And that's, it's like buying a cell phone. People might like, uh, you know, Apple better. People might like Android better. The thing is, both sides will tell you, you know, their brand is, is better. The thing is, don't listen to them. <laughs> get the one that you think is best. So, you know, do the same thing with the camera. Get what's best for you. And let's say you like, uh, you know, something with a little less features. You want it more simple. Get that. If you want a little more, a few more features, then, you know, get something that's, that has a lot more features. Yeah, it might cost you a little more, but if that's what you want, and if you can afford it, do it. So that is it, basically. This is the first of many, or hopefully many more, tips and tricks and tutorials uh, for beginning film and video makers. And leave a comment, though. Leave a comment uh, telling me what you want to see next time. Maybe you have a suggestion or just whatever. Or if you don't have a Google Plus and you don't want to leave a comment or you can't leave a comment, then you know, send me a tweet. Uh, link is in the description below for my Twitter. Anyway, I will talk to you guys next time and hopefully you enjoyed what you saw. Hit the subscribe button, give me a like, and I will see you guys, well, next video.